Let's go through how to create a page on Bulb and I'll showcase all the amazing features that will bring a page to life. I am student Omar Diaz. Let's say he has an assignment for school and his teacher wants him to create a page on outer space. The first step to creating a page is to press the blue Create Page button. This takes you to a blank page where you can create content. Click here to type in a title. We will call this page Outer Space. Next, to instantly catch people's attention, I'm going to add a cover image. There are many ways to add an image. I can upload an image from my device or Google Photos. I can use the Asset Library. The Asset Library is a great feature on Bulb that holds all of your media assets. This is where your images, videos, and attached files that you've already uploaded to Bulb can be found and managed in one centralized space. I can also go to my Google Drive account and pull media from there. Or I can utilize web search. These are safe, filtered images that allow me to find any kind of image I'm looking for. The web search also automatically cites the creator of the image for you. For the cover image, I'm going to upload an image from my device. All I have to do is click Upload, Browse Device, and select the image of the galaxy from my desktop. I can move the image up and down until I find the perfect spot and press Save. Now I'm ready to start adding content to my page. I'm going to copy outer space text that I've already written for this page. I'm copying my text and simply pasting the text right into my page. Now I'm going to utilize Bulb's text editing options. If I highlight text, you can see the text editing toolbar pops up. I can bold, italicize, and or underline text. I can also hyperlink text to direct me to another site. Additionally, if you click the T, this takes us to another toolbar that allows for changing the font, color of the text, and different headings. Now that I'm done formatting, let's move on to the Bulb Media Toolbar, where you can add assets to a page that really makes it come to life. This paragraph here talks about light years. I found a great video on YouTube that I want to add to this page. To add a video, all I have to do is press Enter Return on my keyboard, wherever I want the video placed, and the Bulb Media Toolbar appears. Click on video, and from here, I can add the video from YouTube, Vimeo, or upload a video from my asset library, Google Drive, or my Google Photos account. I found my video on YouTube, so I'm going to copy that YouTube URL and paste it in the box on Bulb. I can also add a caption to the video. I can explain this video provides more details on what light years are. This next paragraph here talks about how outer space holds different types of objects. To bring these objects to life, I'm going to add images. So to add an image, again, click Enter or Return on your keyboard and click Image on the Media Toolbar. I can get an image from many places, but this time I'm going to utilize the web search. I want a nebula image, so all I have to do is type in nebula into the web search and images pop up from that web search feed. When I click on the image, a blue frame appears around it. The bottom right corner has an arrow that I can select to resize the image to my liking. As there are so many different space objects talked about in this section, I want to add more images. What I can do is convert my image to an image carousel. Bulb's Image Carousel is a great tool to showcase more than one image. I will click on the Nebula image so that the toolbar shows up, click on Image Carousel icon, and OK to convert. Now, click on the image and click the plus sign. I will add an image of a supernova through the web search. Another great feature of the image carousel is the ability to add a caption to every individual photo to explain what each image is. I will add a caption explaining this is a supernova and this image is a nebula. 
I can also format the text in my caption by highlighting the text and using bold, italicized, underline, and hyperlink. Now that I have added images and a video to my page, I'm going to use our different feature for my next paragraph. This section here discusses space facts. I created a document on my Google Drive of space facts that I would love to put into this page. To do this, I will click where I want my doc to be placed and press the enter return. I will select the file on Media Toolbar. I'm going into my Google Drive to add the document on space facts. This is a great way to embed work that you have already completed to bring your page to life. A really great aspect of this feature is that every time you make a change to the space doc in Google, Bulb updates that doc as well, so the latest version of your Google Doc will always be visible on your page. I can also resize this document and add a caption to it. The next feature you can use to fuel imagination is embedding audio. This text here discusses space missions. To diversify this page, I found an audio clip from day one Apollo mission and downloaded it into my asset library. I'm going to click enter return and click on audio. And I have this audio saved into my asset library. So I'm going to grab it from there and embed the audio directly onto my page. Now that it's living on my page, I can play this clip directly from my page. I can also add a caption explaining what the audio is, as well as resize the clip. The last feature in the toolbar is embedding a URL. This content here talks about Omar's favorite galaxy. Here's a fantastic article all about galaxies that I'm going to add to the page. Again, all you do is click enter return, select URL, and I'm going to copy that URL of the article and paste it into this URL box and submit. This embed goes directly onto the page with the ability to click on it and get directed right to the article. Bulb supports embeds from over 1,900 different sites via iFramely. We support interactive embeds from many tools such as Prezi and ThingLink. I am going to embed a ThingLink about Earth research. Clicking URL in the media toolbar and pasting that URL of my ThingLink will embed it. I can hover over the circles to read facts all about Earth. Now I'm going to add an image of a Milky Way. To make my page stand out and become more personalized, I want to utilize Bulb's text wrap feature. I will add the image via web search below my text about galaxies. I'm going to click on it and use the feature above to align it left or right around my text. Another thing to note when creating a page is that Bulb is always saving your page in draft form. All of your content gets saved on the page as you work, even if you're not ready to share yet. You're now a pro at making a beautiful bulb page. The next step is to share. Watch our sharing video to become an expert. If you have any questions about page creation, check out our help articles at help.bulbapp.com or contact us at help at bulbapp.com. Thank you.